Hello guys, this is the Pokey Gamer 2, and uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> In the last episode, um, oh, first of all, this is part 18 of my Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. Um, <coughs> in the last episode, we made our way to Sinewood City, and we took on the trainers in this gym. But, like I said in the description, not the leader himself. So, in this episode, hopefully, we can, well, of course, we're going to take on the gym leader. And, uh, maybe do a couple of other things. Alright, so obviously the gym leader's name is Chuck, and, uh, and, uh, he's a fighting type master. I don't really know if he's a master, but, yeah, he has fighting type Pokemons. Ah, uh, double team. Double team can be, um, quite an annoying move. Um, but I'm just gonna see if this air cutter can attack. Alright, that's good. Good, good. All right, and that's gonna take it out. Tons of experience. Whoops. Yeah, his next Pokemon is Polyrath, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go and send in Bayleaf, see what she can do, because uh, Bayleaf is actually a female. So now this likes to use Focus Punch a lot of the time. Oh, it also uses Body Slam. So yeah, if you can um. So when he uses Focus Punch, if you can just hit it with a physical move on that same turn, then, um, yeah. Okay, I don't know why he's using Surf. I mean, like, that's not very effective. <laughs> Silly Chuck. Oh, look at that. Critical hit. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's easy as that. Chuck really isn't that hard of a gym leader. Yeah, he's really not. So, um... Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, but I actually had to pause the video for a second. Just because, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Focus punch in. Yeah, I had to pause the video just because, um... <sighs> you know, never mind. I'm tongue tied. Oh yeah, so yeah, when you defeat the gym leader, um, his wife, I believe, gives you the HMO2 fly, which is very convenient. And, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna heal up my team with super potions. Um... Okay. Okay. Daisy. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you heard that, but my mom was actually just talking to me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, just disregard that. Really not important. Okay, so when you get the HMO2 fly, I would highly recommend that you just go ahead and teach it to anyone you can. Because it's actually a really powerful move. So, and, and um. Um. I really don't know what I want to take away. I mean, you know, I'll just take away Air Cutter. That move sucks. All right, so now when one of your Pokemon know the move fly, um, you're gonna have to go back to Olivine City, and um, it's 
So yes, you're gonna have to go back to. Uh, okay, guys. Um. Never mind. You do not want to fly back to Olivine yet. I'm so sorry. I actually forgot. There's um more stuff to do at Cyanwood. So um. What you're gonna have to do to beat the game, actually, is to go in here, talk to this guy. Well, let me just wait for the camera to focus. Hurry up! Okay, so basically, um, I don't know why it's not focusing, but it just says, Oh, you appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? The lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. Okay, now you can read it. I got it! This ought to do the trick. Yeah, then you get to the secret potion, which is actually the medicine that you're gonna need to, um, help the dying Ampharos. Um, so yeah, that's really all you have to do in there. And you can leave. And then, when you go up here, you'll notice something cool. You'll see Suicune! Yeah, then this guy, Eswin comes up. He's like, I just saw a glimpse of it. So yeah, he's like, it runs at awesome speeds. It's just such a wonderful Pokemon. Yeah, that he's gonna challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Don't worry, he's really not too tough. Um, for Drowsy, the best advice I can give you is maybe teach one of your Pokemon the Shadow Ball or Shadow Claw. Preferably Shadow Claw. Because, um, it has higher special defense than regular defense. Um, yeah. And, um, I, I highly recommend that you just let him put you to sleep to get, so that you can get hit with a Dream Eater, because it's really fun getting hit with those. And, um,. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love getting hit with Dream Eaters? It's, it's just really just an awesome move to get hit with, I mean, like, it's awesome. <laughs> okay, not really. It can be a little annoying. So, uh, yeah. What? How did he know I was gonna wake up on that turn? Like, seriously? Whatever, I'll just finish him off with a cut. And there we go. That was that was uh, easy enough, I guess. And Electrode, yeah, his second Pokemon is Electrode. I'm afraid this thing knows like self-destruct or something. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure if it's gonna use self-destruct right now, it won't actually kill me. So. Yeah, it's obviously Sonic Boom right there, but uh, I think this thing knows self-destruct. I'm scared. Are you se are you serious? Come on. My Razor Leaf misses, but Sonic Boom doesn't miss. Come on. Come on, game. And uh, guys, off camera, I actually bought um different types of potions. I bought super potions and hyper potions. Yeah, so now I have all the good stuff. Why would he even bother to use thunder? What the hell? <laughs> but yeah, beware, this electrode knows thunder. And seriously, why would he use- why would he try to use thunder on my Bailey? He could just easily have taken me out with Sonic Boom, but uh... You know, whatever. Eswin isn't really the smartest guy. <laughs> Alright, and we get up another level. Ah, oh, crap, I missed it. What, was he gonna send out Haunter or something? Yeah, I guess I'll just send out Crobat. I think Crobat's about to go to the next level, actually. Oh yeah, Haunter.
Yeah, I'll use bite. Oh. Om nom 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 nom. Ooh, look at that critical hit. Alright, level 28. That's nice. And Crobat's attack is now 69. Well, let me just fix my cam. Okay, I thought the screen was a little big there. Alright. I'll see you around. Hope not. <laughs> okay, now what you're gonna want to do is fly to Olivine City. And what you're gonna have to do is go into the lighthouse again, obviously. And uh, you can just simply go in this freaking elevator because um, you don't have to actually go up the stairs. So you can just be lazy and take the elevator. You don't even have to press any buttons, it just goes up for you. So uh, yeah. But then the lazy day is over and then you have to walk all the way around here. That's like a full 180 degrees, like... Like, that's so that's a lot of work right there. So yeah, then you um give um Jasmine that soup um secret potion that that guy at Sin would give you. Then the same Farls just you know, it turns into Jesus and it like produces light just like Jesus did. Is was... I don't know. <laughs> oh no, I do not want to go down the stairs. So yeah, the Ampharos isn't about to die anymore. So um, yeah, basically, if you don't give the Ampharos a secret potion, when it dies, it's all on you. <laughs> it's all on you. You may think it's not really your fault, but yeah, then if Frost dies, it's on you, guys. And yeah, you're actually gonna get a call from Bauba. I can't remember. I can't even how to, cannot even pronounce his name. Oh, hi, Gold. This is Warden Bauba. <laughs> Sorry, I've kept you waiting. We finally opened the Safari Zone. Do you know where it is? Yes. So, um, it's actually in that um. It's in the cave thing in Sinewood City, so... Um... Yeah. And yeah, Jasmine is actually in the gym now, so... Yeah, there actually- there aren't really any trainers. So these guys, they're just like, yeah, go for it, like, you're the best, awesome, yeah, yeah. Whatever, <laughs> And, um, well, guys, um, I actually think we have some time left in this video, so let's take on the gym leader. Not in the next episode. But, uh, yeah, guys, don't worry. The next episode's coming out really soon, so you really don't have to wait too much. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Like this video. Comment. And thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.